Hey everyone, Elias from Cloud Context. Today we are going to go through another option for your QR code. So recently I did a QR code video where I helped out some cafes and I helped out some places that were having a bit of problems during COVID lockdown and needed a quick QR code, free QR code to get them out of trouble, get them to their social media websites, menus, etc. Since then, QR codes have blown up. So I've seen QR codes start getting used more and more often. And even myself in my own businesses, I've been using QR codes on the back of our business cards. So I recently hired a new BDM and part of the onboarding process is to get them a business card. Now with my business cards, I've actually got a QR code on the back side and that QR code is the one that I previously generated in my old video. So that is a free QR code. It is not dynamic by any means. It just lands on a Linktree page. So on the new business cards for the new BDM, RAV, I'd like to do something a bit more dynamic, a bit more unique, maybe have a bit of data around people actually scanning that code and what they're doing from that code on that page. Enter Beaconstack. Beaconstack are a pretty cool business that actually help people like myself create dynamic QR codes. They help customers create QR codes that can land on landing pages and link them to all sorts of different places. And in this particular case, we're going to actually use the QR code to also create a V card on the person's mobile phone, whether they're on an Apple phone or whether they're on any type of Android phone. Now, these are dynamic QR code services. So you generate them and you sort of have a lot of trackability to see what they're doing. You can change what they do. So let's say that same QR code is no longer in use or maybe want to direct that traffic somewhere else. We can do that very easily. So what does that mean from us? Well, it means that the next time that we go out on site or if we have to go to an event or a networking marketing event or something along those lines, we can just take one single business card and on the back of that, there's a QR code and our customers or potential customers can come along, scan that QR code, and it's gonna save all our details into their phone, including all our social media links, our email address, our phone, our name, our company, our company's address, and any sort of other information that we decide to put in there. Now that means that they can also open that QR code on the internet and they can view any sort of extra information around that and we can link them, we can have links back to our YouTube channel, back to our LinkedIn, back to our blog. So today we are gonna create Rav's new business card. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to the Beacon Stack website. I'm not gonna show you guys how to create an account because that is boring to watch on video and I'm sure you all know how to sign up to something. And then I'm going to click on create and I'm gonna choose digital business card. I'm gonna select this purple one because it always matches our cloud context colors. So let's start by filling out this information. So I just pinched Rav's LinkedIn photo. We'll crop it up nicely here, or she won't mind. Now that is the user image and that's what's going to save on the user's phone, on the customer's phone. So we're gonna go Rav Cloud Contact Business Development Manager. Business Development Manager, Cloud Context. I think you get that it's an IT company from Cloud Context. Create a quick summary for her here. We'll say helping customers transition into modern cloud services and our logo let's see if we have a good logo here so we found the logo that actually is transparent phone number let's add a number in here okay email address is rav rav at cloudcontext.co website cloudcontext.com.au and then we can scroll down here this is what i like we can actually add things like linkedin and we can add things like youtube our youtube we can put in the cloud context one which is youtube.com forward slash c forward slash cloud context and revenue to linkedin is as so there we go so we added our address as well we can click pretty much any of these social media pages we can add to. Then we hit next and I'm pretty happy with how that QR code looks. I'm not gonna add any logos in there. Fine, then we click next again. And now we have this section here where we can actually share it with our Google wallet. So essentially what I'm gonna do here, because I have a Google phone for now, is I'm gonna click on Google wallet pass and that is going to give me a QR code to scan. I'm gonna open this QR code and I'm gonna click on that, which is going to let me add this pass. So I'll delete this pass because it's a RAVS digital pass, but I'll add this for now and I'll view it in my wallet. And you see that now I have this wallet, which is essentially a QR code that people can scan and it's going to save all of RAVS contact details into their own phone. So I'll show you how that works as well. All right, so I have another phone now. Scan the QR code and it's going to bring up the V card with all those details, including the LinkedIn and the YouTube. And then simply what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go add to contact. And the contact will be added into my contact just to confirm that that did happen. Let's open contacts and we'll search for Rav and we see it there straight away. Open that up, photo, 
it's got Rav's email, it's got the address of the office, it's got the little blurb helping customers transition into modern cloud services it's got the linkedin page and the youtube page and obviously the phone number how good is that nice and easy it means that we don't have to print these anymore we don't have to take them not many people are taking them off our tables and our at our stalls and whatnot anyway so it's great to actually have this convenient i've got all sorts of ideas of what we can actually do in here i'm going to keep going through and having a look at all the analytics i like that you can see how many people have actually scanned the qr code it's fantastic to know that information because you sort of can work out if it's actually valuable or not. That's all I've got for you today. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and we'll see you guys next time.